you. Chris. That is ridiculous. That is not. You're not making up lies. You tell the viewers the truth. Viewers, this is the truth. I can't believe you make up these lies. One camera, and then you record the lie. You I record the lie, this lie is gonna be forever. That's it, you guys don't wanna see this. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to a new vlog. I am out and about right now just running some errands. I'm about to go into Kohl's and do a couple of Amazon returns. And then I'm gonna go get a car wash, get a little pick me up from Starbucks, make a Target run, pick up Max from grooming. It's been a busy morning. Not sure if you guys know, but anytime you do an Amazon return at Kohl's, you don't have to like box it or anything. You just drop it off at the returns and they give you $5 Kohl's cash. I never use it and I typically look for somebody to give the Kohl's cash to. I try to look for like an elderly person or elderly couple or uh, somebody with children that, you know, it'll benefit. I'm going to run in and I'll see you in a bit. Hey guys, I have uh, Kohl's cash that I'm not going to be using. Do you want to take it? Okay, no problem. Ooh. The lady that I gave the Kohl's cash to it looked like she was with her elderly mom. They looked alike and they were shopping together. So she definitely appreciated that. I know I would if it was a place that I shopped, you know. Hi, I'm just going to get a basic wash. Sure, no problem. Do you want to add tires for two bucks or no? No, that's okay. There's that for you. Thank you. Have a good rest of your day. You too. Now that that's done, we can go to Starbucks. Oh, shoot. I can't go through the drive through I just got a car wash and I can't roll down the window. It'll be all wet and have water spots. Should I go in? I don't want to feel so awkward. Uh, these are like serious introvert problems. I'm gonna have to walk in. It doesn't look busy. Let's try it. I did it. I got one pump of cinnamon dolce. Ooh, so good. All right, I went to Target already, so I don't need to do that. Now I'm just waiting on the groomers to call me to go pick up Max. You guys, you know the job, the job I've been talking about in the past couple of vlogs. I had my first day. My first day was yesterday and it was such a good experience. I loved it. I had such a good time. It's legitimate, but it was kind of like I thought. It was really unorganized. It was like their first training, group training period, and the right people weren't there. I am officially in training to be a stretch therapist. I like it. Actually, let me just hang out here for a minute until the groomers calls me. But you know what I'll chit chat with you guys about? This dog attack. I am so tired of all of the people in my neighborhood who allow their dogs to be walking around, like around the garage, around their yard without a leash. Every time me and Chris walk the dogs, somebody has their dog loose. Two of them did run after our dogs, trying to attack, and I had to whip the leash at them. Well, you know what? I'm prepared. I went on Amazon and I ordered pepper spray. Pepper spray for dogs specifically, because I don't wanna like, pepper spray could really <laughs> mess a dog up. It's not like human grade or bear grade. Uh, pepper spray so I'm telling these folks me and Chris have one in each of our pockets the moment any of your dogs charge our dog they're getting sprayed and it, it works for like 12 feet distance I'm not gonna be in the middle of a dog fight I'm not gonna let my dog get bit I'm taking action I'm so tired of it and the thing is people are funny they want to be irresponsible and not have their dogs on leash because they think that their dogs are trained well enough to stay in the yard then they have to go tackle their dog and it's like this big ordeal and I'm just not trying to get sued because my dog will tear your dog up if your dog attacks him and that is not on me that's where my hands are tied and i'm just like it's about to be a dog fight and it's your fault i just i'm really passionate about this it's it's serious business to me and i had to get it out thank you for listening i'm done <laughs> oh i just got a text oh max is ready I just got an Amazon delivery and I know exactly what this is. Earrings. Oh, 
Wow, how cute is that? I like it. These were $15 on Amazon. I'll link them below. the next day and it is 86 degrees today i wanted to put on some like fall stuff and get in the fall spirit again but yeah it's not happening so i literally have on a summer like jumpsuit i think i'm gonna get out of the house today just because it's sunshiny and beautiful and just do some shopping because it's been a couple of weeks I know you guys have seen this number before. It is a super lightweight summer jumper with pockets. I love this so much. I just wear it with some slides with a little buckle on it to match my purse. I did get some new earrings again. I've been purchasing several off of Amazon that are either 14 karat or 18 karat uh, plated or dipped or whatever so that I can wear them in the shower and stuff. But uh, yeah, I've just been in the mood to buy earrings and necklaces and these are the ones that I got recently. A little chunky like Huggies. I think that'll be really cute with uh, like sweaters and stuff for fall. And then on my lips today, I'm wearing the Jaclyn Hill liquid lipstick in the color Cider. I love it. It has a perfect amount of orange and brown and it goes nicely with the outfit today. So I got a box from Bath and Body Works. So I'm gonna go ahead and open because I forgot what I ordered. I know I got some candles and some plugins, but I don't remember which ones. So I'm gonna open that up and then we'll head out. Let's see, for the plugins, I got white pumpkin. Another white pumpkin. Okay, they're all white pumpkin. And then two candles. This one is Fresh Fall Morning. Oh my gosh, that smells incredible. I love that. This is my first time smelling this one and this one's probably White Pumpkin. I really like the glass case for decor. All right, here is the whole outfit, my bag. I'm really trying to do a video that is summer to fall transitional outfits, but it's just so hot and tomorrow it's gonna to be 91 degrees. So right now it just doesn't seem like the time. But um, yeah, I'm gonna get a couple of things and then hopefully I can do that video, you know, in the next couple of weeks. All right, let's head out. One rule that I have when shopping at places like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, things like that, is whenever I pick up a piece and I think to myself, oh, this is so cute, should I get it? You know, when you're kind of on the fence, if it's not exactly what I'm looking for, like there's no need to buy it. This is how I prevent myself from buying random pieces and just having an overload of clothes in my closet that I don't wear. I have to absolutely love it. It has to fit really well and I have to like the fabric, the way the material feels. Because when you feel good in your clothes, it's a thing, you know? I know that these are just pajama pants, but the fact that they have that nice light gray, dark gray, and white, it just seems like a more elevated uh, pajama pant, you know, for fall that I could pair with a black sweater or even like cream colored gray, white, anything like that. This is the second item. It's just a standard like mock turtleneck sweater. I love this brand. They sell it at uh, Express as well. It's very good quality, nice and thick, and you know it's gonna last years to come. I really like the button details on the shoulder. The sleeves are nice and long and then it has like this little cuff part here so when I scrunch it up, it'll look pretty. This is a nice piece to wear with black linen pants or black jeans. This is a long vest, you can't really tell, but I have one just like this that is a nice cream like khaki color and it kind of has that fold right here to make a little lapel and it's nice and long with pockets it usually goes all the way down to your calves and it's so chic to wear in the winter or in the fall maybe it's not cold enough for a full jacket but you do want to cover yourself a little more it just really elevates the outfit when you're not really sure what to wear these are perfect and it's a really nice heavy material really thick great quality this is from the brand oh look at that it's the same brand this was $25 and this sweater was also $25.
Okay, it's pretty late right now. I think it's almost 10 o'clock and I was gonna do some more vlogging earlier and then I didn't imagine that. So I decided that Chris and I will play a little game. <laughs> We're gonna do a little uh, how well do you know me type game. So I think that'll be really fun. Let me just get this set up. I almost fell asleep. I was waiting on this guy. What do you want me for what? To come on and with the questions so that we can play the game. Okay, yeah, so I have 10 questions. He has 10 questions. If you don't know how the game works, you'll figure it out really quickly. So let's begin. It took me a long time to come with these questions. I know. It's like 30 minutes. Am I asking a question? Yeah, so you'll ask the question. We'll both write the answer and we'll show them at the same time. All right, so ask your question. Hmm. How well do I know him? What was the name of my first pet? I don't know. I know I've said this. Bruno or Box or something. Box? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Benji. <laughs> that was the movie. Yeah, I think that was Hollywood. Spot. S Speckle. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three. What'd you put? Sally. Sally. I put Ben. <laughs> Who's who names their pets Ben? <laughs> Sally. Yeah, it's a good dog name. Okay, first question. What is my biggest fear besides spiders? <laughs> Ready? Ready. One, two, three. Three. What'd you write? Falling down? <laughs> yeah, you fall down. Smelling bad. Oh, what? I don't I know you talk a lot about that. But that's not your biggest fear. You've always, I thought you always told me it was falling down. Slipping on ice? Yeah. Yeah, that's another one. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Next question. <clears throat> Nothing like water. Come up here. Come say hi to the people. Come here. Over here on this side. Say hello. Hello, Max. How are you? Just a cute little baby. Okay, that's all. Go play. No, go back. <laughs> go back to doing your thing. Bye-bye. What was my first job? One, two, three. What'd you write? Farming, a stalker. My grandfather's like best friend owned a convenience store. Oh yeah. And yeah, but you did farm help for neighbors and stuff before that. All right, dang. I don't know you. I really don't. <laughs> okay. What music makes me the happiest? What's my genre? You guys know. <laughs> Tell them. Help them out. I need to watch your videos. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably going to have to explain this. I'm either wildly correct or wildly wrong. Let's find out. One, two, three. <laughs> 80s, 80s music. music. I had like the classic big bands, and I don't know if they're really called big bands, but like Dean Martin and and uh, all those guys, Sinatra. Oh yeah, I like that as well, but my favorite is 80s. Your favorite is 80s? Since when? Rick James, Whitney Houston, Michael Jackson. I mean, I know you really like them, but... That's what I listen to the most on my like Apple Music and Pandora. We're since not when? doing well since the beginning of me. Since the 80s? Yeah, exactly. How many countries have I visited? Oh, you have asked that before. And the last time we played this, like two years ago. I don't remember, hell. <laughs> One, two, three. I said two. I said but, two. <laughs> but three could be right. I, I could give you a... <laughs> well, two or three. Well, do we consider Puerto Rico outside the US? Or since it's a US territory, it's US. It is outside the United States. Okay. 
three you're right there's lots of places that are their own country but are a u.s territory so i got one right they're their own country but a u.s territory yes like who like puerto rico i guess they have their own flag for the olympics okay <laughs> <laughs> what is the number one thing i need over everything else the one thing you need over anything else. That's a lot. There's a lot of answers. <laughs> but there's one that trumps them all. Everything else matters not. <laughs> okay. One, two, three. Ice cream or uh, sleep. Dang it. <laughs> it doesn't matter how hungry I am, how anything I am. I just... If I'm tired, that's all that matters is going to sleep. You know that. You forgot. Yeah. Next question. What was my favorite movie as a kid? You didn't... How would I know that? I've told you this. It may have only been once I told you. It might have been a long time ago, but you should know this. I'm like, I don't know why I'm mad right now. <laughs> I think I'm tired. Like, I'm upset. One, two, three. I put Sandlot. Tombstone. You did tell me that. That's a good movie, though. Yeah. Okay, next question. What food have I been the most disappointed in, flavor-wise, since we moved here to Chicago? There has been one food that I've just been, like, I've had it several times, and it's just not good anywhere. One, two, three. I'm going to have some upset Chicagoans. Flip it. Oh. Pizza. It's so bad here. I'm a New York pizza kind of girl, but regardless, the pizza should still be decent. It's just not, it's just not good. The crust isn't good. There's too much sauce. The cheese, I don't know what they're using. I kind of feel like so far, the local places that are really popular have been the most disappointing. Yeah, I would agree, like the chains. Yeah. Just give me a good slice of New York pizza and I'm good. One that you can fold it in half and yeah. eat. Yeah, yeah. The deep dish, that's a lot going on. I mean, if you're gonna make a deep dish, I would like it, but make it taste good. It's just like too much of everything. You're eating like a sock full of feet. It's too much. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> A sock full of feet. It's too many ingredients. <laughs> it's like a mouthful of sauce and then like so much cheese. You know when something's just overly cheesy? I like cheese. I don't know if you'll know this one. Then that's not fair. It's because you don't listen to me. Not because I hadn't told you. You don't listen to me first. So ask. Because you hate me. You hate me more. <laughs> what was my favorite book as a kid? Oh, that's easy. Oh. One, two, three. Star Valley Sneech. <laughs> oh. So, all right, I'm going to have to give you one. That's definitely my favorite. Dr. Seuss book, anyway. I'm going to have to give you a pass on this one. Okay, yeah, because... Because I guess I was thinking a bit older. Um... What is my favorite physical feature of yours? Uno, dos, tres. Eyes. Eyes. She likes talking about how they change colors. Yeah, sometimes they're green, sometimes they're gray, sometimes they're like reddish orange. It's weird. My eyes are brown. They're not brown. Next question. <laughs> Where is my, I, what is my, or who is, name? What? <laughs> my ideal city to live in. My favorite city where I've always wanted to live. San Juan, Puerto Rico. One, two, three. Miami. No, oh, San yeah. Antonio. We suck. Why are we even doing this? You don't know me. And you know me. Well, I got two right. What brand is my most worn perfume? Mm. 
One, two, three. Chanel. Ugh. Dolce. I knew it was one of the two. Dolce is my favorite uh, summertime fragrance. I knew you really liked a Chanel one, but I thought Dolce was like, kind of like more of an everyday one or something. Yeah. It's my favorite summertime fragrance. Dolce, Italian fragrances are just the best for my pH or whatever. Who is my favorite? <laughs> that was really intense. <laughs> Sorry. Who is my favorite professional baseball team? I don't know teams. But you're supposed to know me. <laughs> <laughs> Ein Sei Drei. <laughs> Redskins. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's not their name anymore, is it? No. <laughs> it's, that's not their name anymore. How many piercings do I have in my right ear? My penmanship is horrible. Like I, I was thinking the same, like, ooh. Like, ever since I was a kid, it never got better. Like, once I learned how to write, that was it. <laughs> there was no progress after that. Did you practice? I think so. Remember that big white paper? The, the, the brown paper, it was like long and yeah, and like it had like the solid lines and with the, the dotted dot. line in the middle. Yeah. Yeah, like I just never advanced past that. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Five? Well, when did that happen? <laughs> May of 2020. <laughs> no, that's a new development. You didn't have that. Did you get those today? Who needs five holes in their ear? It's cute. It's called curated ear. Look at that. It's what? It's called a curated ear. What was the name of my best friend from elementary school? Brian. <laughs> you got one right. You do know me. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> he was the best man at our wedding. Oh, he wasn't, was he? No. <laughs> You're a terrible friend. <laughs> No. My best friend from elementary school. I'll explain school. in another episode. <laughs> <laughs> if I could only wear lipstick or lashes, which would I choose? Uh, de toi. <laughs> lashes. Lashes it is. With two exclamation points. <laughs> but just so you're clear, you know, we never say, wow, look at those lashes. We notice lips before lashes. Okay. <laughs> Let's keep this PG. <laughs> no, not like that. No, I mean, I get, well, maybe. I yeah, exactly. What was my first job? Why are you pointing at me? <laughs> I don't know. What was my first casino job? Oh, yeah. Oh, I almost wrote my phone. <laughs> One, two, Three. Bartender. Yeah. Lounge supervisor. But, yeah. I ended up making more, yeah. way more drinks than I ever supervised drinks. Okay, so same thing. Yeah. Lounge supervisor, bartender, same thing. If I could only drink water or eat food, which would I pick? One, two, three. Water. Water. Because most of the time when you think you're hungry, you're really just thirsty. You get confused. Exactly. That's not just me. That's most people. A lot of times if you just drink a bottle of water after eating, you're like, oh, I'm not hungry after all. I was just thirsty. <laughs> Speaking of, next question. What was my favorite food when I was a kid? What? What was my favorite food when I was a kid? Like this is so my favorite food now is obvious wings. wings but, but prior to it became to, your favorite when you were a kid. What was my favorite food prior to wings? You never told me that. Nuh uh. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh huh. You know it. What do you mean it better be long? It better be right, because otherwise you lied. Go. Chicken fried steak. Yay! 
<laughs> what was that? I don't know. Yes, chicken fried steak. His mother <sighs> makes a chicken fried steak that doesn't even qualify as chicken. You haven't had chicken fried steak until you've had Brenda's chicken fried steak. I, I was like, oh, okay, I'll go there. She's making chicken fried steak. Okay. I took a bite and I was like, what is this? It's this, amazing. This isn't like anything I've ever had. Like real southern home cooking with lots of flavor, great texture, perfection. After you've had her steak, uh, her chicken fried steak, any restaurant you eat chicken fried steak at, it's upsetting. You'll be disappointed. It's upsetting. Agreed. Okay, so my last... It's so great to make it into a sandwich the next day with the leftovers for breakfast. I'm hungry. You're just thirsty. <laughs> Have some water. <laughs> What's the date of our wedding anniversary? <laughs> you don't even know this. How are you going to ask me? I want to make note of it so I can put it in my phone. I can never remember the date. I know it's in March. Oh my gosh, I might know it now. One, two, three. She does it. March 24th. Chris! <laughs> How'd you, you... Did you cheat? Usually I think it's either the 25th or the 26th, but what's crazy is we have the same wedding anniversary as my first marriage, which we were married for 10 years, right? You guys know that. And I never knew it then, and I don't know it now, and it's the same day. Isn't that strange? But what's crazy is... My ex-husband didn't know it either for like a lot. We're always like, is it this day? Is it that? We were always confused about it. And then being with you for the past four years, you have been confused. He Don't let this face confuse you, or trick you because he just this year memorized it to be the correct Get out date. Of here. You, Chris. That is ridiculous. That is not. You're not making up lies. Nuh-uh. You tell the viewers the truth. Viewers, this is the truth. <laughs> that is absurd. <laughs> I can't believe you make up these lies on camera and then you record the lie. You record the lie, this lie is going to be forever. That's it. You guys don't want to see this. <laughs> That's it. We had 10 questions each. Did you get any right? I got a couple right and so did you. We don't know each other very well. We don't listen because we don't care. Well, you know, when the other, after a certain amount of time, the other one just starts talking and you're like, oh yeah. And then she you does forget. Like that all the time. And you forget. Not because it's not important. She just gets up and walks out the room. That's, now you're lying on camera. No, that's that's the truth. And nothing but. So who won? Did someone win? Or did we both lose? I think we both lost. <laughs> I think we both need to reevaluate, reevaluate things. The relationship. And do better. The relationship lost. Oh no, that's sad. <laughs> you guys want to see Max? Look at that face. You're tired, aren't you? I know. It's like droopy. We should have named him Droopy. Are you guys old enough to know who Droopy is? The cartoon from way back in the day, the dog in the elevator. That always sounded depressed. All right, I guess that's all I have. We're gonna go to bed, well, I'm gonna go to bed. Chris is probably gonna go downstairs and watch TV and live his life. I guess we'll say goodbye now. <laughs> is anybody else like this, just different? When you're tired, you just, act different and you're angry and miserable and like you're not yourself and I'll wake up tomorrow morning like hi guys good morning like feeling good and right now I'm just like or this is good because you guys can see how I really am in the evenings this is the real Kina yeah I'm so low energy once it hits eight o'clock yeah so sometimes she gets angry and not like mean but just like how do you describe that angry and <laughs> <laughs> maybe volatile yeah. She gets volatile, and after an hour of being volatile, then she realizes one of three things. And you can always kind of tell by the time of day when she's volatile, right? So she's either thirsty, because she needs the water, she's hungry, <laughs> or she's sleepy. And so it depends on the time of the day. If it's any time around noon and she's volatile, we know she's hungry, mm -hmm. right? And so it takes her a little while to realize it, but then she does, and she's like, oh, I haven't eaten today. That's what's wrong with me. And then she takes a bite of a sandwich and she's like, oh, I feel better. Right? Or if it's later at night, like right now, we yeah. just, we all know she's sleepy, but she hasn't realized it yet. And then she's like, oh, 
That's what's wrong with me. I'm tired. Yeah. Like my I'm, face is falling off. Yeah. I always say, like, my face is falling off. I'm being crabby. I'm not in the mood. Get out. I want to wash my face and go to bed. <laughs> Click out of the video. Find something else to watch. I'm tired. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with us. We had a good time. It's fun. Say bye. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thank you so much. And don't forget, you can always follow me on Instagram. I have it linked in the description below. And until next time, bye for now. Hello.